Hello everyone, I hope you're doing all right. So you've come here to look for how to get TPM on your motherboard. So I think it's a bit of a misconception that your motherboard needs to have TPM already on it, but what it actually is, is a module that can be added to your motherboard. I know this sounds confusing now, but I'll go through the steps, super simple later. But basically, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and see if your motherboard already has it installed. If not, I can show you how to buy a module and install that into your motherboard, ready for Windows 11. Okay, so one way to check to see if we already have this installed is by going into the settings. It'll tell you if you can update to Windows 11 through the Insider program. If it says your computer isn't compatible, that means the TPM is either turned off in the BIOS or you don't actually have one. And to get to that, we just need to go to settings, update security. If we go down here, you can see it doesn't meet the requirements for me because I don't have TPM currently on or installed. Another way to find out if your motherboard has TPM or not is you can just Google it and someone's probably already asked the question and you'll find your answer there. If not, we can actually look through the manual of the motherboard, which you can easily find online. So to find out what motherboard you have, go to system information. Uh, you can see here, mine is the Z97X Gaming 5. So if I just type in the Z97X Gaming 5, I can just add TPM or something and someone would have asked the question before. So if I have a quick look through now, you can see that someone's already asked this and answered it. Um, I do have the ability to add TPM, but it does not come with it. You can I can find it on the manufacturer's manual there. So let's go back in manual. Let's load the manual. Yeah, so look, you can see on page 30, you may connect a TPM trusted platform module. So I don't have one, but I can buy one to add to my motherboard. Uh, here you can see it's a 20 pin connector so I'll need a 20 pin connector right okay so now we've figured out that I don't need to actually buy a new motherboard I can just buy the module for it I'll show you a quick video on my phone of where it is on my motherboard and what it looks like so down here on my motherboard you can see this part here is where I would install my TPM module Okay, so the last thing to do to check if your motherboard has TPM or not already installed is you can actually go into your BIOS settings, and this is probably the most complicated one, and check if it's turned off. So I'm not gonna show you a video on how to do that because every motherboard has a different uh, setup and layout to get to the settings. So best thing to do is just to quickly Google it. Someone might already have a video showing you how to enable it in the BIOS settings, or you could Google it, should be there. Um, that's the best case scenario if you do have it and just need to turn it on. If not, we will need to buy a module. Right, and where you can buy these from. So I've had a look for you guys already. Here's an example of one I found on Amazon, 45 pounds, which is ridiculous. Do not buy this. I've done some price checks on it. You can see it was a lot cheaper and they've ramped the price up because they know people need it for Windows 11. So they're just trying to make more money out of you. You should have a look elsewhere. Um, you can see it was previously 10 pounds on eBay, but eBay's up the price too now. You can see it is a lot cheaper though than Amazon. So I'd recommend eBay over Amazon. You might be able to find them cheaper elsewhere. So have a look around. You might have a store next to you or might know some other websites that'll do a good deal for you. So yeah, have a look around. Make sure you get the right pin connectors. This one's a 14.1. I needed 20 for mine. Double check that. There we go. I hope you guys have figured out if you need a TPM module or you just need to upgrade your motherboard. Hopefully you don't need to upgrade your motherboard. You just need to get one of these. Uh, even better scenario, you already have it installed and you just need to turn it on. If you like this video, please let me know and I might make another video showing you how to install the module when mine arrives. Thank you very much and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.